live. We're recording right now. All right. Woo. Oh, shoot. We in it to win it. That's right. Everybody's excited for this one right now. Yeah, I had to let the music ride. I had to make the music ride, ladies and gentlemen. Where you guys at? Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We live. We're counting down three, two, one. I'm excited to be back in the seat, ladies and gentlemen. I've been on the road, baby. ArielNT.com. Where you at? Come through right now. Tell everybody right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. Thank you for tuning in to another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are back in the saddle. We are back in the seat. We're back in the podcast room. Guys, I haven't been in the studio probably for over a month, and that feels so amazing. Let me tell you something. It feels so amazing. I've been traveling. I've been meeting people. I've been performing. And now we're back in the studio, guys. So, And we're going to do probably just one episode a week now because it's been getting crazy over here. I'm telling you guys, ladies and gentlemen, I am booked out till November. It's no joke. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I only got one weekend in a month for myself. It's interesting now. Okay, let's go back. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. So grateful for everybody tuning in, for all the love, support, the comments, the feedback, and everybody watching the podcast. We hit a new record this week. We hit a new record this week. Over 500 audio downloads in one week. That is incredible, ladies and gentlemen, my best friends. I cannot believe this. This is just the audio, guys. This is not YouTube. This is not um, social media platforms. This is just the audio. So we hit 500, 500 downloads. So thank you, guys. That's incredible. I, I We usually hit 300, but we hit 500. I don't know. God loves me. All right, here we go. Let's see what else. So thank you for all the support. Let's bring our guest in now. I just had to give all the announcements out of the way. Everybody's been asking where I've been what I've been up to, so that's what it's at. Okay, guys, our guest comes from all the way from Denver, Colorado, the Rocky Mountains, 5280303, enough. Yes, all right, he is a cat, he loves cats, all right, he is a hip hop artist as well. I seen him perform and it's incredible. You gotta catch him live, ladies and gentlemen. The incredible, the talented recording artist, Bubba. Spliffs, yes. Woo! Nice, man. What it do? Man, it's going pretty well. You know, living the dream, making the best of what I'm giving. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, thanks for being on the show. And yeah. we've been planning this for a little while. Yeah. Life is arduous, though. We've been doing what we can, making the best of what we're giving. That's all we can do. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, and I'm so grateful that uh, you get your pay for your patience, because patience is an action, man. And you got patience, so thank you so much for having persistent and patience. And now we're here today, man, because this is just you know I'm having the time of my life right now, and to be here with you right now to hear your story and hear your music, it's gonna be it's gonna be lit, man. So tell us a little bit about yourself man um you are you native in colorado no i'm uh, i'm actually a navy brat i grew up in naples italy um oh. I serendipitously stumbled onto this um, part of the u.s five years ago and on tour and uh you know it's been a blessing everything happens for a reason um, my name's anthony block aka bubba Splice. i'm a small business owner now and hip-hop artist currently out of denver colorado i'm you can find my music on every platform that exists just google bubba Splice and you'll find everything that you need Heck yeah, man. Bubba Spliss from Naples, Italy, U.S. five years ago. And so far, how, how far has the transition been for you? Sounds like you've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's definitely been essential. Like, I, I, I'm really glad. As, 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 
typical as some events happen in life, every lesson comes as a blessing. And honestly, God has settled me down and sit down in Colorado to find myself. And everything happens for a reason. So I'm just grateful to be here and grateful to be alive. Jeez. You had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> you had to go there. You had to bring the Holy Ghost. You had to bring God into this. You had to bring Jesus into this, bro. You had to bring gratefulness. You th- That's what this podcast is all about, man. Oh, dude. Whew. You hit the core. You hit the core of this podcast. Yes, we bring listeners. We bring artists in here. Yes, we bring your, we hear the story, but the core of this podcast is exactly what you said. And that's gratefulness in God. Oh my gosh, bro. Whoo. That was deep right there. Okay, bro. When, 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 um, did you start taking this music game seriously? Um, I want to say I was, um, I was, 17, I was 17 years old. I just dropped my first big case, got to start somewhere. Um, honestly, I realized that, like, the music is there for me when others aren't. You know, so it was an opportunity for me to learn about myself in ways I couldn't otherwise. So 17 years old is when I started taking it more seriously. And then I did my first show when I was 18. And my social anxiety almost disappeared entirely. You know what I'm saying? Like, music changed my life. So uh, I had to stick to it. Okay, okay. And you're talking about a little bit about social anxiety. You're saying that you think the music may, helped you conquer that. Absolutely. I couldn't. I used to not be able to like make eye contact with people. I was homeschooled for like eighth grade and it was an interesting like trauma upbringing. But like the last time I did my first show, it was I felt like skydiving. If I had to imagine what that was like, it just it was amazing. Wow. Great. Great. Social anxiety, I remember having that a little bit, but uh, what helped me go, what helped me with social anxiety was to get out there and put myself out there. It's not easy, but uh, I made some goal, I made, I wrote down some goals down and, and yeah, here I am today. So yeah, dude, social anxiety, I conquered that. I actually now have a great time in front of people, in front of crowds, so that's cool, cool. Yeah. When's, your next, when's your next show? Honestly, um, I don't know. I don't want to say it's, um, there's so much going on right now. I know that there's like three different events I'm trying to book with. I, I might be performing with the Seeing a Lot Music Festival in Florida in okay. late September or early September, rather. And okay. there's an opportunity in California I'm trying to peek out maybe August 25th. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, it's a tip. It has to be announced. It has to be determined. Great, man. What did you think about the AIA collaboration here in Colorado? I was floored. It was amazing. There was so much talent. There was there's so much positive energy and, and diversity. It just it just brought a whole new perspective to like the potential behind like the, the local scenes and stuff like that. Like I know people are about their movement and about their dreams, but man, there was so much energy there. I loved it. But tell me real quick, what made that different than from the other events you're part in? Other events that I'm part in, I don't see so much of a cooperative or unified energy. Mm. Like everything's the same dream, the same same vibe everyone was positive and no one was there hating on each other no one was there trying to be the best no one everyone knew that you know what I'm saying it's not a critical path and it's a dream it's a drive and like it was just i don't know it, it was organic that's what it felt like it felt like it was organic not often that found in life cool man it, it felt organic the diversity and it felt like well yeah for me i felt like Everybody there wanted to see everybody perform. Because I saw, I, that's what I felt. Everybody saw everybody perform. It was so cool. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody was there to support each other and encourage each other. So it was nice. That was some good, good, good stuff. And this is the perfect segue right now, guys. I want to give a quick shout out, guys, to the, let's see here. It's great here coming through. Quick, quick shout out to... Everybody listening to right now, I want to give a quick shout out to the studio. I want to give a quick shout out to God, to Jesus for being with us and protecting us, keeping us safe under their wings. And thank you, God, for um, for this amazing podcast, um, for Anthony being here. And thank you, God, for Anthony being safe and sound. Thank you, God, for hearing our dreams and wishes and prayers. Thank you, God, for amazing health, for food and for music and for bookings glory be to god amen that's what i do baby it's what i do all right let's bring it in back in let's start with this real quick 
Yo, Bubba Splits, we're going to start with the song real fast. We're going to start with the song. We're going to start real fast in this podcast right now. Let me bring it in. Hold on, let me share the screen. Share screen. Here we go. Before we do that, before we drop the single, it's an exclusive. It's an exclusive into the unknown official lyric video. Before we get into that, Bubba Spliff's Instagram, Bubba Spliff's B U B B A S P L I F F S. Bubba Spliff's. Right there. 27 year old mental health advocate, cat loving hip hop artist. Hey, tell us about diverse modeling. Diverse modeling was a very, I, want, I wouldn't say short lived, but it was a little side project I was working on to pursue the more video graphic side of things and magazines and potential modeling. Um, okay. Diverse modeling eventually expanded and changed entirely to cosmic derivation, which is my business and pretty much anything musically and digitally inclined or related is all cosmic derivation. Right on, right on. There it is, guys. You can check that out on his Instagram. That is Bubba Spliffs, B-U-B-B-A-S-P-L-I-F-F-S on the Instagram. Hit his link tree like your boy did. Boom. Takes you to his YouTube, um, his his tracks. Contact him. All right. There it is. Link tree. Mental health survivor, aware, awareness advocate, construction worker, hip-hop artist, small business owner. He's doing it all. Oh, yeah, guys. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube Boom. We just subscribed live. Hey, thank you. We just subscribed live, guys. 500 listeners, guys, right now. You guys are 500 listeners. Last week, you guys can subscribe. You guys can you guys can pull out your iPhone, your Android. Go to his Instagram. I'm not his YouTube. Spot Bubba Spliffs. Bubba Spliffs on the YouTube. I just subscribed. It's that easy. It took one second. Okay, let's go to the Into the Unknown official lyrical video. Three, two, one. DJ, switch the lights. baby where you guys at come through everybody in the lobby going crazy everybody in the lobby going crazy right now yeah i bring the energy in the studio 
They can't wait till I tell the studio. They, I come into the studio. They're like, yes, Aries Entertainment Podcast is booked today. They're bringing the energy. Yeah, I'm bringing the energy. Everybody in the studio going crazy. In the lobby, I wish you guys could see it right now. Yo, make sure you guys order some pizza for tonight. You gotta fight for your life. Woo! This music pumps you up. Talking about guys, go check that out right now. Into the unknown official lyrics video, Bubba Spliffs. Make sure you guys subscribe onto the YouTube. I'll get us another video to close out. I'll get us another video to close out. Don't worry. Boom. Guys, thank you so much. Let's get into the questions. That's what everybody's been waiting for for the questions. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Buckle the truck up. <laughs> Mother. Father, here we go. I learned that from. Uh, here we go. First question of the day, man. Are you there? Oh man, we think we lost him. Okay, we're gonna have to. That's <sighs> what happens when you go too hard in the studio. I told you guys not to be jumping around. And that you guys are gonna ruin the Wi-Fi in the network. And look what happened. Look what happened. You guys froze up the Zoom. Yo, Bubba Spliss, get out and come back in. There you go, there you go. He'd be back, he'd be back. All right, guys, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, ArielENT.com. We were just getting into it. They told me before I went back, because I've been out for a month, they're like, yo, Ariel, man, you go back into the studio today. Make sure you bring all the energy. All right, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Let me story. Let me tell you a story. ArielENT.com, tell your friends and family, 500 audio downloads in a one week. How does that happen? I have no idea. Glory be to God. Glory be to God, Jesus. Oh, we'll just say some prayers until he comes back. Yo, Bubba Spliffs. Yo, bro. That's how we do. St. Michael, the Archangel. Jesus, God, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, casting the hell of Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. All right. Hail Mary, the full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Woo! Yo, oh, there he is. It's all right. It's all right. He's back in. He's back in, ladies and gentlemen. We got him back. He's back. My bad. The temperature is too sunny outside. Hey, the temperature is too sunny outside. Like he said, it's okay. The Matrix won't stop us. The Matrix won't stop us, bro. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me right now. <clears throat> all right. Let's go with the first question. Can you hear me? Um. Yes, sir. I can. can okay. Me? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear, boss. All right, cool. There he is. There he is. All right. Wow. Cool. Ready? Yes, sir. Cool. We do it live, baby. We do it live. We just keep it going. We don't. <clears throat> we don't edit nothing. We just keep it going. Out that whole time you were gone, I was just. Uh, I was. Uh, I was talking it up. I was talking you up. So that was awesome. Let's keep it going, guys. This first question. Yo, bro, where did the name come from, Bubba Spliffs? Honestly, I. It was straight up thrown in my brain. Like, I, I don't even know, dude. It, it was like God just, I was sitting down on the school bus. I was 14 yeah. years old. Well, just trying to theorize, speculate if I was to be an artist, what would it be called? And um, I guess uh, a relative of mine when I was young referred to me as Bazooka, Bazooka Joe or like um, Bubba and they called me Bubba. So it had like a family derivative on the, on the, on the first half of the name. And then the latter part splits with something in high school as a teenager, I'd utilize that stuff we do overcome whatever demons and adversities I was facing. So splits was a favorite thing of mine when I was young. Right on, right on. And what's been helping you 
with um, building a fan base here in Colorado. What's been helping you build helping you build a fan base? Oh. I want to say maybe the platform like me and other like social media. Uh, what's been helping build a fan base? Honestly, yeah, live meaning like yeah, live live shows. Live shows have been optimistic as well. Networking and having the ability to just discover myself in music, you know, mainly shows and events, being able to put myself where I want to be. Tell us a little bit about Live Me. Live Me is a broadcasting platform. I recently started my own agency on. Um, I was formerly a contracted broadcaster, and I'll be returning to you very shortly. Um, very soon, rather. And essentially, I utilize the platform for raising awareness, mental health awareness, and suicide prevention type vibes and messages. Use it as an opportunity to network musically. And, you know, it's, it's, it's all around the fun competitions and just a little bit of fun side gig on the side, make money. Live me, sweet. I love live me. Live me is kind of like, it's just like any other, um, what are they, like Digo and stuff like that. You can utilize the platform for whatever you desire. I just personally use it for mental health and music, musical networking. Okay. So uh, I'm going to have to check out Live Me. I never heard of it. So I'll check that out. Absolutely. Sweet. Okay, sweet. You, you can get you to be a contacted broadcaster, just as simple as that. And you can get monthly bonuses just doing what you love on the side of a real job, anything. Okay. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check that out, guys. Live Me. All right. Next question here goes like this. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go, man. There's just so many great questions. I don't know which ones to ask. Um, what is it about your music that makes you feel so passionate? Um, I like the fact that it's kept me alive in times I otherwise likely would not have been. And you know, mental health is a rather serious, diverse adversary in my life. And it's been kind of fundamental in, comb in combating mental health and stuff like that. So music's been everything for me. I understand. Okay, so you, it's been really great for you for your your mental health. Growing up, that is, yeah, you know, and discovering myself as a, an individual, you know, a sense of identity is important in life, apparently. <laughs> so, having yeah, value like self worth is important as well. And I kind of found an opportunity to not only get to know myself in a way, like from almost a third party perspective, but like I found a way to appreciate things in a, a different different aspect. For sure, for sure, I like that, and. What do you, what would you say to an artist that's listening right now that has been the easiest way to, to book shows? To book shows? Yep. Um, literally, um, you'd never stop doing what it is that you love and putting yourself every single place the opportunity may knock on your door because it never comes that often. And when it does, it's literally, it's bold, it's apparent, and you will feel it. Trust your gut. Trusting your gut is so important. Um, it, and honestly, if I didn't just like listen to these random inclinations and inclinations rather to this impulse, I probably wouldn't have found myself in half the places I've been. And like, that's like the, the Holy Spirit almost, I feel like talking to you. And just, just go where, go where it leads you. Literally, you'll find the craziest opportunity where you just never would have imagined otherwise. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? And then, and then I say, ah, I'm just doing what the Holy yeah, what the Holy Ghost is telling me what to do, man, straight up. Sometimes I'll, I'll be booking things here and there, and I'm like, what am I even doing? But some reason, I'm doing it. And when the day comes, when I have to travel, I say to myself, well, I can't believe I'm doing this right now, but apparently I'm doing this, and I'm about to hop on this plane. So here we go. Yeah, dude, it, like, it finally hits me. I like, it. It really hits me for a second. Like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I know I love what I'm doing. But here I go, you know? Cool, man. I'm glad you and I can vibe on that, bro. That's some deep stuff right there. Whew, man. All right, we got, guys, I know the time flies by. I told you 30 minutes flies by. I tell people, they're always like, how long is the podcast? Say like 30 minutes. They're like, are we going to have enough time to talk? I'm like, yo. 30 minutes flies by. 30 minutes has already gone by, guys. So we got, we're got we in overtime right now. We got seven minutes left. So I'm going to ask Bubba, Bubba about uh, uh, a few more questions. Here we go. If he can answer them real fast. Here we go. What is the biggest lesson that you've learned from your music journey? Uh, the biggest lesson I learned from my musical journey 
Um, so, honestly, it's, it's just not me who I am as an individual. If it wasn't for music, I would not. I would not know who Anthony Block is. Anthony Block became aware of himself and this a value of life simply because of the, of music. Um, she be told like I was lost in the sauce, you know, saying music helped me find my way. Badass. You know what? I want to let you. I want to let you know that you got an amazing light behind you as you're speaking like right now there's a big bright light well i mean there's a yellow light but i think it's coming from the window and it's it, yeah that's beautiful it looks great okay cool like it's perfect lighting man that's how it's what i'm talking about that's called that's called natural lighting right there okay this next que next question we got guys we got two more questions they're important right now oh man here we go Oh, this one's one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite. Uh, uh, there we go. What's the best piece of advice another recording artist ever gave you? Um, another. Um, honestly, before I even knew it, um, sobriety, um, and the the genuine genuine capability of just enjoying and a passion and a dream in this life. So it's like without the, the, the necessity or the desire for something to substitute, you know, consciousness. I and mean, it's, it's, it's just crazy to me. But yeah, there's sobriety. Before I even knew what sobriety was and like God blessed me in interesting ways therein. But like the point is, it definitely was to enjoy life as it is organically and simply. When did you, when did you really, when did it grateful, when, when did being grateful and God when did you really find that? With um, like when did I with like, um, I would say probably at the end of the last chapter per se of of my losing side with mental health when I was a young teenager. Um, actually, probably my early twenties, uh, uh, February eighteenth of two thousand eighteen or February twenty eighth of two thousand eighteen. I did something yeah. dumb for the last time, and you know it, I'm still alive, and then yeah. God gave me plenty of reason to find out why. Beautiful, man. I like to hear that because for me, <clears throat> I'd say I always believed in God and Jesus, but I, I, I'd say the last, like, I'm really deep into it now, probably the last eight years. But growing up, uh, all that, I was always spiritual and went to church and that. But like in my 20s, I kind of got away. <clears throat> I wouldn't say got away, but I didn't go to church as much and I wasn't really praying because I was always partying and wasting, just wasting stupid time, you know, just wasting, right? Wasting, yeah. wasting, wasting time, wasting money. But then I really found myself, man, and uh, found God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost who saved my life, who is my savior and uh, is my shield and um, and my strength. Oh man, glory be to God, dude. That's what's up. Much love to I you. I probably say prison as well. That just that made me remember prison. <laughs> That's another place I, I we got really strong with Jesus. Wow. Dude, that's so cool. And I can see you putting that stuff in your rhymes, man. That's so dope. Like that last song we listened to, that was so encouraging, dude. That was that had a good, good energy in that last song, bro. All yeah, right. Yeah. Last, last question here, bro. Last question. Bubba Spliffs, aka Anthony Block in the building. Last question. And then we're gonna end it on a song. Yes, we are. Okay, it goes like this. Anthony Block, aka Bubba Spliffs. Tell us. If someone's going through a tough time right now, what advice would you give them? Straight up. Um, I know reaching out is oftentimes the hardest thing to do, but when you're alone and you feel alone, believe in your God and know that you're not. More often than not, somehow, some way, someone somewhere loves you. And if not, I do. So just keep fighting the good fight. You never ever stop doing what it is you love. Give no excuses, give no setbacks, let nothing stop you. You know what I'm saying? Every blessing and lesson is an opportunity to become better. Woo! Oh, man, there you go. Fight the good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Bubba Spliffs, a.k.a. Anthony Block. He's about to jump out of the building. Guys, we're going to close it out here, guys. Thank you so much. Here it is. We're going to share the screen real quick. There it is. What's the value of your worth? That's the single we're going to be listening to. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys follow his Instagram and make sure you go to his live shows. Yo, Bubba, thank you so much for being on the show. I'm truly grateful. Can't wait to see you in person again. And I'll shoot you the links when this is um, ready to go. Guys, go 
Boom up right now, aka let's hear it. Boom. All right, what's the value of your worth? All right, guys. Bubba Splits Instagram. Bubba Splits is the Instagram. B U B B A S B L I F F S. Everybody going crazy. Woo right now don't make me go on stage right now Right now, so late, you won't give up. What's the value of your worth? Woo! Genocide. 